Hello, smarty listeners. This message goes out to all the teachers, principals, teacher's assistants, and school librarians. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do as educators. To show our gratitude for all your hard work, long hours, and dedication to teaching, we are now offering free Who Smarted Plus subscriptions for all educators. That's right. You can now play Who Smarted without any ads or interruptions in your classroom to help make learning fun and keep the smarting going during break times, lunch times, or any time. Who Smarted can even be used to satisfy some common core curriculum or as part of assignments or lessons. If you are an educator, just go to whosmarted.com and click Educators. And Smarty Pants and Smarty Parents, please feel free to let your teachers know about this. Again, that's whosmarted.com. Click Educators for free subscriptions to Who Smarted Plus. Let's all get smarted together. Something strange is going on with the wildlife at Midland Park. And two nature-loving kids are the only ones nosy enough to get to the bottom of it. Join Asha and Ollie as they team up on a journey to unearth the deep secrets of the animal kingdom. Full of secret subterranean headquarters, dangerous missions, a surly squirrel, a pedantic polar bear, and a yodeling leopard gecko named Phoebe. Earth Rangers Underground, a mysterious new comedy adventure from Nine Story Media. Coming this spring wherever you get your podcasts. And now, it's time for Who Smarted. Aw, what an awesome five-star review for Who Smarted. Thanks, Raquel from Utah. Oops. Hey, Smarty Pants. Gosh, you caught me in a restaurant bathroom reading Who Smarted Reviews on the toilet. (gasps) I know. It's kind of gross. Here, let me wash my hands. And my phone. Then I'll be right with you. There. That's better. Come on. Let's get out of the bathroom. Um, you might want to flush again. Some of my friends didn't make it to the sewer party. Huh? Oh, brother. A talking roll of toilet paper. Why am I not surprised? Hey, this is who smarted, baby. You should know by now anything goes and everything talks. So true. And so weird. But also so great. What should I call you? I'm a toilet paper roll. I don't have a name. But a lot of people call me TP. TP for toilet paper. Aren't you a smart one? Okay, okay. Slow your roll. Get it? Roll? Uh Uh-huh. You gonna flush again or what? There we go. Anyway, I'll see you around, TP. Catch you on the backside, trusty. Um, right. Actually, while I have you here, I was thinking there is a lot the Smarty Pants and I don't know about toilet paper or TP. Like, who invented toilet paper? How long has it been around? What's it made of? And what was life like before toilet paper? Sure, I can answer those questions, trusty. Great! Then it's time to get rolling with another big whiff of science and history on... Who Smarted! Who's smarted? Who's smart? Is it you? Is it me? Is it science? Or history? Listen up! Everyone, we make smarting lots of fun! But who's smarted? All right, TP, let's start at the beginning. How long has toilet paper been around? Believe it or not, toilet paper has been around for a long, long time. Longer than most people probably think. And it all began here. In the Chinese restaurant where I was having lunch? No, not the restaurant. Ancient China. Use your teleportation app to take us to 6th century China. Hang on, TP. Here we are. Ancient China, around 600 CE. Also, you can stop holding on to me now, TP. We made it. Sorry, I can be a little clingy. Ah. Anyway, welcome to the birthplace and time of toilet paper. So wait, you're telling me toilet paper was invented thousands of years ago? Sure am, and it sure was. It's believed China had TP way before anybody else. 
In fact, during China's Tang Dynasty, which lasted a few hundred years starting in the year 618, a Middle Eastern traveler even remarked about their toilet paper. Really? How do you know? Were you here to hear him? Uh, no, trusty. I was born last month. Luckily for all toilet paper historians, there's a written record of what he said. Oh, so what did he say? He said, <clears throat> The Chinese do not wash themselves with water when they have done their necessities, but they only wipe themselves with paper. I see. So you're saying other parts of the world just used water to, um, clean up after they did their, um... Necessities? Well, I'm not saying it. He said it, but yeah. But the truth is, in other parts of the world, they used all sorts of things instead of toilet paper. Ooh, smarty pants. See if you can guess. Which of these items did people historically use instead of toilet paper? Ready? Go. Leaves. Hey. Grass. Stones. Broken pieces of ceramic? Sponges? Seashells? Corn cobs? Did you get them all right, Smarty Pants? Because all of those answers were right. Wow, they sure used a lot of things to wipe the old derriere. They sure did. And while some of them might sound odd, they did manage to get the job done. I gotta say, a few of those things don't seem <clears throat> super comfy. Which is why toilet paper seems so fresh and fun and fancy. No more corn cobs and hay for the ancient Chinese. By the 14th century, in what is today the Zazang province of China, 10 million packages of toilet paper were made each year. And that's just in one region of the country. Impressive. And get this, each package has between 1,000 and 10,000 sheets in it. Most impressive. Not only was it a lot, the sheets themselves were huge. Each sheet of TP was two feet by three feet wide. Wait, what? Did you say two feet by three feet? Smarty Pants, that's like the size of a, a welcome mat. I know, I know, pretty crazy stuff. But these super fancy, ginormous toilet paper sheets were used pretty much only by royalty in the imperial courts. Regular folks who weren't royals but could do a bit better than corn cobs and rocks had toilet paper made from wool, hemp, and other natural fibers. I'm no diva, but I would definitely prefer wool over a handful of rocks or broken ceramic pieces any day. But when did toilet paper start to look more like what we use today? That took a while longer. It wasn't until 1857 that an American named Joseph Gayetti invented what we consider to be the first modern toilet paper, similar to what you find in stores and bathrooms today. But it wasn't sold in a roll. It was sold in a package of individual flat sheets. You had your own little stack of TP. Oh, okay. Still beats seashells. Smarty Pants, true or false? When Joseph Gayetti invented the first modern toilet paper, his name was printed on every single sheet. The answer, true. Yep, for some reason, he thought it was a good idea to have people in the 19th century wipe their butts with his name. Hmm, I don't know how I'd feel about someone wiping their butt with my name. Then again, if it was trusty paper, you wouldn't even have to change the initial. Trusty paper, TP. Get it? Got it. Good one. All right. Now that we're on a roll, when and where did toilet paper go from a stack of sheets to a roll of continuous, perfectly perforated squares? Well, the where is... Any guesses, Smarty Pants? Where was the toilet paper roll created? TP? If you said the USA, you're right. Yep, the first toilet paper roll was created in the United States by the Scott Paper Company. But other parts of the world took a little longer. For example, Europe, where they didn't get rolling with the TPR until 1928. That's 38 years later. I wonder what took so long. Anyway, I'm guessing the Scott Paper Company made their way over to Europe? Nope. The first European roll was created by a German man named Hans Klenk. 
He started a toilet paper company called Hakla, which is still a huge company in Germany today. I see. So does Hakla mean toilet paper in German? No. It's actually just a combination of the first half of his first and last names. Hans Klenk, Hakla. But funnily enough, it actually came to mean toilet paper. See, when TP first hit the shelves, people were actually embarrassed to buy it. So the Hakla company came up with a clever slogan. Ask for a roll of Hakla if you don't want to say toilet paper. Of course, today people call toilet paper a few other names. There's TP, of course, and toilet tissue, tissue paper, bathroom tissue, loo paper, bog paper. Smarty Pants, do you have any fun nicknames for toilet paper in your home? Call them out. <laughs> nice. Now, look around to see if anyone is staring at you for yelling out names for toilet paper. <laughs> And for the true toilet paper fans, if you're ever in the German city of Dusseldorf, be sure to visit the Hakla Toilet Paper Museum. <gasps> A toilet paper museum? Really? Is it flush with information? That's right, smart guy. Believe it or not, it provides an excellent visual history of the many toilet paper innovations over the years. Hey, Smarty Pants, which of these is a real item you can actually find at the Hockley Toilet Paper Museum? A. Chocolate-flavored toilet paper. B. A two-pack of TP, where one is designed for going number one and the other for going number two. Or C. Glow-in-the-dark toilet paper. The answer is coming up right after this quick break and a word from our sponsors. Hello, Trusty Narrator here with a special message and offer for anyone looking for extra help with schoolwork, classwork, homework, or homeschooling. I am super excited to announce Who Smarted is partnering with IXL Learning to bring you a phenomenal educational resource that will make math, language arts, science, and social studies as fun as listening to an episode of Who Smarted. IXL is an online learning program for kids. And whether you're one of our thousands of homeschool families or a parent looking for extra help for your child, IXL is like having a second teacher in your home. And it's designed and research-backed to boost grades and instill the skills and confidence to master any subject from pre-K to 12th grade. IXL is like an investment in your child's education. And as Who Smarted listeners, I know how important that is to you. Personally, I've seen the results of IXL Learning, and every family I know using it has shared what an incredible, immersive, fun, and educational experience it is. I know it works, which is why I'm excited to recommend it to my Who Smarted audience. Make an impact on your child's learning. Get IXL now, and Who Smarted listeners can get an exclusive 20% off IXL membership when they sign up today at IXL.com smarted. Visit IXL.com slash Smarted to get the most effective learning program out there at the best price. Hey, parents. Imagine enjoying stress-free, delicious meals crafted by chefs and approved by dietitians already in just two minutes. With Factor, you can. With a choice of 35 weekly options, including Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, Vegan, and Veggie Dishes. Plus, discover over 60 add-ons like on-the-go breakfasts, lunch snacks, and beverages to keep you fueled throughout the day. For me, Factor's gourmet meals with premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, truffle butter, broccolini, and asparagus have been a game changer on busy days. Factor is now my go-to solution for enjoying no-fuss, no-mess meals without the hassle of prepping, cooking, or cleaning. And you can customize your weekly meals for as much or as little as you need with the flexibility to pause or reschedule deliveries to fit your busy lifestyle. And since I know our listeners love taking care of planet Earth, this month Factor is making it even easier to eat sustainably with their Earth Month Eats badge highlighting meals with the lowest carbon footprint. Ready to fuel up for your springtime goals? Head to factormeals.com slash smarted50 and use code smarted50 to get 50% off your first month plus 20% off your next month. Don't wait. Factor. Fresh. Convenient. Delicious. Now back to who smarted? 
Okay, smarty pants, which of the following will you find at the Museum of Toilet Paper? A, chocolate TP. B, specially made TP for number one and number two. Or C, TP that glows in the dark. The answer is B. In the 1960s, Hakla sold a two-pack of toilet paper called the Duo Row. The two rolls in the package had two different textures, a soft one for doing number one and a stronger one for doing number two. Whoa. That's actually kind of a great idea. Which reminds me, TP wasn't always the soft, cottony, two, three, or even four-ply luxurious bathroom tissue it is today. The early versions of TP were rough on your bum. And I mean rough. Ouch! It wasn't until the 1930s that a company called the Northern Tissue Company came out with splinter-free toilet paper. (gasps) It was a real game changer. Splinter-free? Are you saying that before that, people got splinters just wiping their... But of course, TP wasn't as finely processed as it is today, so back when it was on the rougher side, you might get a teeny, tiny little wood chip stuck in your... But luckily, toilet paper's come a long way since then. But what is it made of? I mean, I assume it's made of paper since it's called toilet paper, but how exactly is it made? And how do they make it so soft? Smarty Pants, do you have any ideas? Well, thankfully, we've come a long way from corn cobs and rocks and wool. Today, toilet paper is generally made from pulpwood, a type of timber that's pretty soft. So it's used specifically for making paper products. Since it's called pulpwood, is it mashed up into a pulp and then flattened out to make toilet paper? Bingo. Not to mention, a lot of other stuff happens between the time it's a tree to the time it's TP. First, the wood is, as you said, made into a fine pulp. Sometimes TP is also made of existing recycled paper, which also needs to be moistened and mashed into a pulp. Then the moist pulp is flattened and rolled into huge sheets, where bleach and other substances are added. But all these substances are safe for my bum bum, right? You bet your bottom. They just help to make the grayish pulp clean and soft and white so it can become the TP you know and love. At this point, the huge bleach-white sheets of pulp are flattened and dried. And at this point, they're already starting to resemble toilet paper. What about all the little designs on the TP? TP? Like flowers, or waves, or cool little patterns. Those get added toward the end of this process, and they're not just there to make the TP look cute. Those designs also add texture, making the paper stronger and more durable. From there, the rolls are cut down to size, packaged, and shipped off to the stores. Well, me and my butt are definitely very thankful for you, TP. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. But there is one more thing I need to know. An age-old question that has confounded generations of toilet paper users. Perhaps you can solve this toilet tissue conundrum. Uh, sure. What is it? When it comes to putting a toilet paper roll in its holder, should it spool out from the top or the bottom? Smarty Pants, how does your toilet paper spool out? Overhand? Underhand? Something else? Ooh, that is a question that gets asked a lot. And the answer is, whichever way makes you happy. When it comes to TP, sometimes you need to start at the top to reach the bottom. And sometimes you need to work from the bottom up. But either way, the soft, gentle, strong, occasionally scented goodness of today's toilet paper is sure to make you smile from rear to rear. Oh, wow. That was beautiful, TP. No ifs, ands, or... A super size shout out to Daniel and Dylan and Mom Julia in San Francisco, California. We're so glad that you're all huge fans of Who Smarted, and we appreciate all the great episode suggestions. However, while I know you'd love to have the teleportation app, unfortunately, or fortunately, it's only for trusty narrators. Sorry, Smarties. This episode, Toilet Paper, was written by Phil Forgot to Flush Jeremy and voiced by Mike out of TP Pervetti and Sherry Colbert. Technical direction and sound design by Josh. Wash your hands, Han. Who Smarted is recorded and mixed at the Relic Room Studios. Our associate producer is Max Tuply Kamaski. 
The theme song is by Brian, Squeaky Clean Suarez, with lyrics written and performed by Adam Get the Plunger Davis. Who Smarted was created and produced by Adam Tex Davis and Jerry Colbert. This has been an Atomic Entertainment production. <laughs> 